think it's been really important to bring the Cabinet Secretary, uh, Leslie Griffiths, down here to Bromley Street today because then she can see for herself the importance of the new planning regulations she's implemented um, in response to our demands because we need to keep live music uh, in Wombly Streets and not have it overtaken by some commercial interest. I'm Tom Bentley and this is Ewan Moore. Um, we are the campaign managers for the Save Wombly Street campaign here in Cardiff. All live music venues are important, particularly grassroots music venues are important um, all over the UK and here in Cardiff because of uh, the stepping stone that they create for bands that will then go on to play huge shows all around the world and become ambassadors for our cities and for our countries. I mean, one perfect example of that is uh, like today we have uh, Coldplay playing in the uh, Principality Stadium, and 12 years ago they played in Club Agabach uh, to about 100 people, now they're playing to 65,000. And that shows that all bands have to start at the grassroots level to grow and build up their standing. And um, it is an incubator, an incubator for uh, our culture, our heritage, and our communities as well. When you think about um, what started on this road, uh, bands like Mad Tree Creatures, Catatonia, Stereophonics, Super Fury Animals, they all started their careers right here. And now they're on a global stage taking whales out into the world. To support um, the grassroots music in Cardiff. I think it's an essential part of the city to have areas like this and it's so good that the Cabinet Secretary Leslie Griffiths who's responsible for planning in Wales has come down here today to see firsthand how important it is that the changes that she's making and the changes that we hope the Cardiff City will adopt. So it's a very important um, visit and a very important day for us.